high desert smallies. It's uh, middle of the summer here in Nevada. Trout are starting to go deep and the smallmouth are really getting active. So we're gonna be chasing them. See, it's first thing in the morning. They are loving these wake baits right now. And topwater bass, there's not a lot better than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one! Just jiggling it on top. The main forage for these bass here are a yellow perch and they are keyed in to this exact size of perch. It's just been smashing fish, but what we're doing to make it a little bit more realistic for these bass is we're taking the Sharpie and we're just coloring in some lines. On a yellow perch, the black vertical lines are one of the most key characteristics of those baits, and those fish really get keyed into those black lines. You got almost identical match the hatch situation. In fact, I might steal this one from you, Louie. You want to fish that other one? <laughs> oh, another one! Just jiggling it on top. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was awesome. Putting up a scrap. Look at that. Look at that thing, all small now. Wake bait. Oh man. Look at that thing. Those fish are keyed into these perch here. We took the wake bait and just made it a little bit custom with the black lines and a sharpie, pretty easy. Yeah, I just hammer this thing. <laughs> they are just eating these things up. Look at that. What a fish, huh? That's nice. <laughs> One of the reasons I love chasing these fish on wake baits is they're they're really versatile. Um, as you can see that um, today, I've been running mine. I put some black stripes down to make it look like the perch that they're actually chasing in here. Um, and there's basically three ways that we were getting hit. Uh, one of them was just a straight retrieve, like the wake bait was kind of made to run. Got that big weight coming off the back. And those fish hit it really hard when it's moving fast. The other way that we were getting bit is where we knew we knew where those fish were on this point. We'd throw it in there and we would just kind of kick that thing and let it just do this, let it just flutter and flutter and just kind of sit there wounded because what that's what those perch actually look like. Those perch that are wounded in the water, we've seen them, they just sit there and kind of flutter and then they'll swim down a little bit and then they'll float back up. So we were imitating that perfectly with the wake bait. And the third way is just a straight retrieve. You stick your rod down right in the in the water and run that thing, and you can get it down two or three feet deep. Um, and those fish, once this, the sun started getting up um, and the chop started coming on the water, those fish moved a little deeper, got into the weed beds, and this was dragging them right out of those weeds. So if you love catching smallmouth on top, midsummer pattern, check it out, super deadly.